Chris Cook guides Glamorgan to draw against Gloucestershire. So far it's been a match for the bowlers at Sophia Gardens. Relatively low totals in both teams' first innings highlighted just how tough conditions had been for the batters. Gloucestershire had edged in front on day three and headed into the final day with a 42-run lead and their host's second innings already underway. A good morning with the ball could set up an important victory for the visitors. And they got their wish just six balls into the day. Charlie Hempfrey out LBW to Taylor. He had a second in his next over. Carlson bowled for a duck as he offered no shot to an inswinger. Billy Root was in at number four and he and Nick Selman set about reducing the deficit. Selman moved into the 20s with a couple of early boundaries. He'd lose his partner with the score on the cusp of 50. Payne found Root's edge and a smart catch from Hankins saw the Glamorgan man depart for 13. Cook and Selman wrested some control back from the visitors, the opener playing his way towards a half century. He picked that up off Charlesworth, a boundary through the offside off a short delivery confirmed his first 50 of the season. But he'd be unable to go any further. Ryan Higgins had him trapped in front for 55, the wicket seeing lunch called. Cullen went five overs after lunch, 10 runs his contribution when Taylor found a way through his defences. Douthwaite followed, Taylor once again the man to take the wicket, an outside edge held at the second attempt by Hankins. Six balls later, Payne had his third. Gareth Roderick with an acrobatic grab to see the back of Graham Wagg. His departure saw Glamorgan retreat into themselves. The run rate dropped and Captain Chris Cook looked like he was setting his stall out for a watchful knock. He'd have to do so without Kieran Bull. Van Buren's delivery went straight on, through his defences and bowled him for seven. T was taken not long after and the lead was only 74. Gloucestershire sensing a final session victory if they could finish off the tail quickly. Cook picked up where he left off, Tim van der Hoogten now at the other end and the pair soaking up pressure as time ticked on. The skipper reached 50, a tired looking sure delivery punished to the backward point boundary. It looked like he'd done his job, the scoring rate dropped off and the Gloucestershire attack struggled to find opportunities. Glamorgan's lead was too great and the inevitable draw was confirmed. Each side took 11 points. Gloucestershire the more disappointed of the two, the chance to put Somerset and Worcestershire under pressure had evaded them. The home side are still hunting that elusive first win in the Bob Willis Trophy. They'll be desperate to pick that up against Northants next time out. Gloucestershire meanwhile face a tough trip to a Somerset side who should have beaten Warwickshire were it not for the weather.